Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Tokyo Dark, where I, Zippy. Yes, we will continue the story where we're off to, and we continue our investigation to find out more about this person that cannot die. Alrighty, let's begin this investigation. Honest. I've got no interest to go inside a place like that unless I have to. <laughs> yeah. Though the two guys standing outside their railway shop look foreign, I can hear them speak with them sounding Japanese. They point over what looks like a map of It's the weebs. Every time the automatic doors open, the ones with the magical color and the smell of stale secrets when it's too sick. 2500 yen for a half day. Suppose in a paid cafe, not only like pay for the food, but the girls to wait on you and put on the ball. Not really my thing. Who even came up with the idea of made cafes in Japan? A cat themed maid cafe as opposed to a regular cat cafe. Maybe there's a police themed maid cafe somewhere. Kasako got a kick out of that. One of the many foreign tourists who frequent the electric town side of Akibara. A Hawaiian shirt and a fanny packer? That he speaks enough to Japanese to help me. So you're typical American, eh? Hey? A small bookshop that sells mostly manga and cheap friendly colored magazines. Hi, do you mind if I bump you with a few questions? This seems like you do the area a little better than I do. You're not trying to sell me something, are ya? Nope, I don't want it anything. Probably except a little bit of your time. You can spare it. Good. Ah, Matashi. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? Nice to meet you too. I'm Amito. Uh, I'm looking for someone, but I feel a little out of depth around here. Anything in Akabara feels a little strange to me. Ha, <laughs> that's only one way to put it. My bookshop this would be between a cat maid cafe and a cat cafe, so yes, it is a little strange. Honestly, it's stressful to set up neighbors to have. I'm a fan of your neighbors. Ah, well, uh, I wasn't safe. I mean, who doesn't love maids? Cat Cafe is a deep story on the giver. Don't get me wrong, the owner is a nice lady. You all want those cats of hers make a lot of noise at night. If she's so careful, they might try to look as a little crazy. I guess it's some consolation that the little buggers are so damn cute. Maybe things are really changed around here. But my father in this store, this area was nothing like it is now. More, more authenticity. Nowadays, everyone goes feels like it's one big advertisement. Guess I'm not the only one to talk. I want to be better. This bookstore used to be a real hidden gem. We sold original prints and rare volumes. My family were known as kind of collectors. Collectors? Yeah, not me. The collection mostly belonged to my grandma. He had a real eye for art. Don't try to find the original. Why the hell out of him? But he's devotion to the arts keep coming up with times. Nowadays I just sell weekly manga disease. And I've done pretty well for myself. I can't complain that I had the talent of the eye that my father and grandfather had. I guess you don't really need to know what something means to you until it's gone, you know? Hey do, thanks for your time, Atashi. It's actually Atsushi. No worries, 
my normal customer side, quite as chance to. I've been talking like this in the last change of pace. Made Captain Cat Cafe. Heard about these. Cats are uh, very demanding creatures. I suppose I lucked out getting a pump in the house and it's a bit that I didn't. Probably find the cat can play every other day. Do you redo your Blu ray and get some tentacle? <laughs> sure. I didn't mean to be rude, but I gotta help you notice all the maps and notes you guys are passing back and forth. Seems to have left the tents. No, no! Bank! Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to hand us a fly. We ducked you to escape a very persistent man. You're not a maid in disguise, are you, huh? Nope. I doubt I could summon the pet. Required to be a maid for 10 minutes. Let alone all day. I'm just curious what we do do. Recovering all these hidden secrets of Akiba. Awesome. What about you? Something kind of similar, actually. But you guys seem a lot more well versed in the area than I am. How far back do these size jits go, anyway? Oh, boy. You don't even know the half of it. There's a whole maze of electronic store stalls selling computers and radio parts that map everything else you can imagine. We decided to map out the area. Bit of an urban exploration. I'm sure it's not very rich, but it seems fun and side -breathing. Akibara is a fascinating area, that's for sure. Urban exploration, huh? Sounds interesting. Most of my friends just sleep on their days off, and I are you guys English teachers? Who me? Nah, I'm a writer. Well, inspiring writer. I don't a few gigs, or web developer in my day job. That's projects like this to give me to create a fire. Who knows, maybe you'll be reading something in five. An anecdote about this conversation is something. I'm an artist. Graphic design on the side. I've already here commissioned me to come out here with him. Take the sketches as we explore the city for the book he's working on. Huh. I never would have guessed people would be doing this like that. What kind of book are you writing? Urban Horror. <laughs> Neon Noir. The simply clean streets of Tokyo. Neon Noir in the simply clean streets of Tokyo. I doubt you believe in the things that go in the city even if I told you. I wouldn't. You might be surprised how much I would be willing to believe. Say, have you been mapping at this street? Anything interesting about it? Interesting might not be the word I use. I've got a getting kind of weird vibe around here. I mean, on the surface, it looks like any other side street in Asuka. It's got everything you would expect: a smoky arcade, a mag cafe, a cat cafe, a bookstores. Nothing unusual there. Not for Akiba, anyway. Ah, oh, it's so good. We almost need to move on, but see that elevator over there? Yeah. Sure, what about it? Looks normal, right? Well, looks can be seen. Yeah, we've got a little bit theory about it. Get this, we think. We think it eats people. We think the elevator eats people? We've been stalking that the last few days. As far as we know, it doesn't look to any sort of that building. And get this. It only lets certain people in, and they get in. Yeah, go in and try it, we have. So, logically, it's either eating people or... Yakuza vampires. I thought a lot about it, I'm pretty sure it might be a thing. I mean, it's a ton of shady activity right there. Damn, son. That might be a book. Yakuza vampires of Akaba. Write this down. What? Oh, I'm doing better than writing it down. I'm already making some sketches. I think this is the best idea we had all week, Cody. Didn't you say you knew some Hollywood agent in LA? Yeah! And when we write this, there's no way we can ignore it. Vampires all the rage. Well, they were. We can read the back. You guys certainly have a hell of an imagination. Hey, <laughs> for me, this city has a lot of strange things that happen in real life, too. Just to ask around you, you would be surprised when people tell you. Vampires, eh? Well, wow. all right, cats, 
made for Shady's corner. Three different places. Hi, sorry to bother you. I'm a uh, what's your name? I'm Hokia. Maybe you want to make it big. I'm kinda waiting for someone to uh... Alright, I'll cut to the chase. Tell me about this phone. Ah! What decade is that chance from? Wait, glow sticks? Oh, oh, this isn't some idle thing, is it? If you're from some modeling agency or whatever, I'm telling you right now, there's no way I wear that kind of topic on. No, nothing like that. I'm an investigator of sorts. I'm less interested in the fashion more than the girl of itself. How should I know? Idol stuff is so boring. Are you like the investigators on TV? The girl cheating on some guy's wife or something? That's so exciting. You know what? Sh should we? You should really call me ask the collector about the phone. What kind of collector? Oh, the collector. It's like a man who did this stuff. He kind of knows everything there is a man around here. My friend Arkane told me about it. If that girl was an ugly bar, I bet he knew it was about it. Why? Is this guy an expert or idol or something? No. Why not you listen? Like I said, he knows everything. It shops are flying foreigners of Liggy Liggy. Who's behind their red? Well, he even knows which capsule machines have the rare stuff. At least that's why I heard. No offense. What, but why would some high school girl need information like that? Well, that, uh, that's a bit complicated. I came to accident here part time. There was a customer who used to come in and kind of obsess over her, you know? Really? Before long, he was following her. She complained, but her boss wouldn't believe her, so Aunt Asked the collector to give her something to make me to go away. Yeah. Did he? Sure did. He gave her a photo of the guy that she nailed the creep's wife. Let's just say it was incriminating. What did he get out of this, this collector? Why did he ask Arcane herself? She's out somewhere right now, but she will be. Thanks, Olga. I just do that. Like I said, I don't really know much. That's okay. Thanks. Oh boy. Your voice is like me and females is going to go straight on my goddamn voice. Let's enter the Smade Cafe. <laughs> what sort of voice? Swing high pitch and Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, gentle mistress. I'm Akira. What's your name? Uh yes, I'm Ayami. Now Ayami Nani? The tone will be ready just over a few minutes. It's, you apologize for the wait and hope you can forgive us. This is the mistress heaven, but we should go. No, I don't. But hey, hold on, take your hands off. It's important that I personally guide you to the table, Army Man. Man, perfect. There we are. Don't you feel better? Actually, I was hoping we could talk about. Oh, yes! It's just early now. The options included on the menu are the full access code indication. It's only a thousand yen extra that you can ask us all the questions you want. Yay! But if you want pictures, you have to order the parenty cheeky furry option. Only a thousand yen per photo. Yay! I think you may have gotten the wrong impression. I'm. Clearly starving! Mistress, where are my manners? That wasn't a very polite of me. What can this humble servant fetch for you? No, hold on, you're not listening. 
I want to ask you about a photo. Oh, mistress, you're so hungry, don't you remember me explaining the pretty cheeky photo option? You've grown delirious. We've got your food soon. We have nan pan cakes, pan porridge juice cakes, paresto pasta, and all available to come in a drink set. <laughs> if I ever come to Japan, I'm never going to enter a cat made cafe. Sounds like pure suffering. Nan Nan Pancakes. For goodness sake. Alright. Let's focus on the photo. Listen, uh, I won't take much of your time. It's one quick question, so. Pardon me, it's just no conversation. If there's no if there's starvation, those are the rules. I can't escape. I, I I'm stuck here. I won't feel I'm a detective yet. Fine. Bloody all the goddamn. Okay, okay, okay. Have the let's see the hand pan and cakes of the pretty kids here. Oh, excellent choice, Army Man. That's a very popular item on your our menu. Right, so I ordered. That means I can ask you about this. Before you order arrives, you must first do an ultra secret Nan Pan fan cheer. Nan Pan, what? Do I have to? Come on, show you I don't need to do something silly like that. But I must insist, Army Man. One can't taste the love cooked in the Nan Pan Nan Cakes unless it's released by the Nan Pan Fan Cheer. <sighs> Fine, if you win. What do you want me to do? Excellent! Mistress, already I can feel a love pouring from your kind heart. Let's begin. Please place your paws into the air like this. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, we should have said we were a detective. Like this? Perfect, Army Man! Are you sure you haven't done this before? Now you must repeat these sacred verses. La Malo, La Palo, La Walo Po. What? La Velo, La Palo, La Palo Po. Um, La Ma? Ah, oh, don't forget to raise your paws. Na malo, na palo, na wala, paw. <gasps> I'm bleeding. The passion, the figure. I can feel the love pouring to the room, Bobby Dad. You know, I can't lie. I do feel like a bit of a my negativity just flew out of me. Now that I've said the cheer, can we? Oh my goodness, Mistress Tanad, your pancakes have arrived! That was come so quick. Hold on, why didn't you tell me the Nan Pan pancakes were shaped like little cats? Oh yes, they were a painstakingly made with love by our star. There's a little whipped cream on tail, it's so cute. Nan, now an army man, saying something about a picture as I recall. Hold up. No need to rush things, we can uh, talk on an empty stomach, right? We've become absorbed in the pancakes. That's actually quite a new professionalism! <laughs> no! My professionalism! Oh well, we've got bloody pancakes now, I guess it's a bonus. It's your main staff actually made these, because they are amazing. Of course, Army Dan, and if you've eaten a hefty answer any questions you have. Alright, now, have you seen the gal in this photo? Let me see. Whoa, are you alright? I am concentrating to my fullest, Army Dan. 
but this job is just not familiar to me now. Uh, as I see, well, thanks anyway. The dress is so pretty, looks like it was custom made. I've seen some quality perform here. Maybe you should ask the collector. She is a fashion designer and occupier who designs costumes for maids and idols who don't have a big budget. Collector? Huh? How can I find her? Supposedly she is a shop on this fairy street. Supposedly? She is a very mysterious lady, army nan, a co-worker mini nan. Let's meet her. Her shift starts soon. You should ask her about it. Well, I will. Thanks. Uh, oh, um, next time can I get a picture of the pancakes? I didn't so quick and I forgot. Oh, of course I'm here. Oh, for goodness sake. I feel like that was a giant waste of time. Uh, tiny ramen shops like this one brings me back. When I was a student, I used to go to the ramen shop and get a whole bunch of week. It's my private little ritual. My professionalism is at stake. Let's check out this maid cafe. Hello, miss. My name is Etio. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ah, I'm the owner, Sachika Almia. Say, you're not the health inspector or anything, right? You already had an inspection last week. Lucky for both of us, I'm not. I'm investigating something that was wondering if you've seen this girl in this photo. Well, well, honestly, she kind of looks like all the other girls around here. You know, maids and stuff. I don't know much about it. That makes two of us. I feel like I feel a little out of my depth around here. Oh, sorry about him. He was a little bit too friendly sometimes. Ah, oh, hello there, little one. What's your name? That's Tomo. You might not want to touch him right now. He's a little sick. He's been making some uh, messes, if you know what I mean. Out of both hands, I guess you can see why I'm a bit concerned earlier. I took him to the vet this morning, but they can't figure it out either. I told me to wait it out, but I think it's getting worse. Sorry to hear that. Does this sort of thing here happen often? Oh, no, no, of course not. My cats all get the best care. They're fed the best food. They're on the best kitty cardio routines. They are pampered day and night. I even read the paper to make sure they are up to date on current events. But Tom Tom, well, maybe I should go and ask the cat collector. Cat collector? Yeah, she's a breeder who lives around here who specializes in knowing everything feline. Oh, Tom Tom, well, not on the rug, and he threw up again. I'm sorry, can you excuse me for a second? No problem, I'll come back another time. Hope he feels better soon. I would say it's very unhygienic. Cats are in the place or in a cafe. Cats are very demanding creatures. Consider themselves a higher life form. No one seemed to know anything about me now. But every time I brought her up, I heard the same name over and over. The collector. It's the only clue I had, and I knew that if I was going to get a further into the case, that was the thread I needed to follow. Hello again. This must be the friend I heard about our game, right? Um, yeah, but if you can open your eyes and reach into your snakes, you'll see her. We are a little busy right now. Go away! I don't know. What do you care? If you tell me what happened, or maybe I can She's fine. One of her customers is an asshole. That's all. Customer. Don't look at her like that. It's not what you think. I work on one of the JK cafes back here. They want high school girls in uniform to serve food and play games and stuff. Nothing weird. They usually come to just want to hold my hand over to me in the future. Sometimes they buy me things. It doesn't bother you that these customers want to hold your hand on this thing in the age. Hey, don't, you don't know her. Don't act like I mind just because you're older. It's better than working some shitty restaurant uh, or a convenience store. But, well, right, can't judge you, but obviously something's working out, which is great. Alright, told 
you. Oh, I've been caught. He's an asshole. Okay, right. Why didn't you tell me what happened? I don't get it. It was nice to me, but I said I wouldn't go into this dirty sewer then, and he snapped. He threatened me and told me I was an ugly girl. Wait, back up. Did he say he tried to get you into a sewer? This is just a fat, disgusting old perfect. I never want to see him again. He's so nice before. He was all my head the whole thing I want. I was. Why did you see all those things? That old perfect who goes into his sewers. Yep, there's no doubt that this kind of was. I know. You know him? Make him stay away from Aki. In fact, make him see the hell out of Aki Bar. We said you wanted to know about the collector, right? How about this? You make it. So he and I can never see this fat, four-eyed, perfect face again. We'll take everything you want to know. Well, do you have a deal? Here's some free advice. If you don't want to be bothered by the internet, so you can hide an I don't have a free That's not how this is going to work. If you really want to know this guy, get rid of him. Otherwise, you're not going to get Oh. Did I just ruin that? Goodness sake. I didn't... F God damn it. Well that friggin' ruined it. I was actually considering to help. I just wanted to find friggin' more information. <sighs> I guess I met Red. It's Red, what it's supposed to frickin' be. That was my frickin' lead. And I somehow stuffed it up. <sighs> Alright. I will do some other options. 